Gus asked me that the other day. We were talking on the phone, and he said something about daring. I said, do you know what that word dare means? He said, well, the judge said something about dare or daring, or he heard somebody say dare. I said, you know that means to bear liability for, uh, like in a con- in contract law, that you're the one who's willing to assume the liability of the debt. He's like, where did you see that? I said, I got it in a dictionary. He's like, what dictionary? Well, I took it out of one, but now it's in mine. So he went online, to etymonline.org or whatever it was, and he says to be bold, to be brave, to be proud. It's like, no, what does it mean in contract law? And he's like, I don't know, and I don't see it anywhere in the Internet. I said, you know what? I knew I was going to be up by his house in a couple of days. I said, here you go. And I showed him on the Internet. And he said, holy cow, it came out of Black's Law Dictionary, page 317, volume 2. I said, that's right, the second edition. There you go. What does it mean? He's like, wow. I said, yeah, wow. I said, do you understand how many damn dictionaries I researched? Do you have any freaking clue how, how I found all these words? Do you have any idea how many years it took? To, to compile these words into when you walk to court and the judge says, oh, I wouldn't dare if I was you. Oh, no, I will dare. I will bear full liability and I will assume the, the debt of this contract. No, you know what, judge? I'm more than willing to dare. The judge isn't telling you, well, you dare, you know, I wouldn't dare do that. Um, hmm. No, you know what? I will dare. I will presume and assume all liability of this contract. No, I'm, I, I will dare. So when he saw it, he's going to take a snap picture of his phone of the, the dictionary word that I showed him on a computer. And I, he's got to remind me to send him, send him the letter D. <laughs> and I'll send him the letter D so he could look up the word dare at his leisure. But uh, that's what I'm saying. The, the amount of words and definitions I found, what these word nerds are coming at you guys with, and they, that's all they're doing. All the judges are doing to you guys. They're, it, they're playing crosswords with you. They're crossing your words. That's all they're doing is crosswords. They're, they're word nerds. They're crossing words with you. And you've got to do battle crossing words, not crossing swords anymore. Now you're crossing words. They're going to say this to you. You're going to say that. They're going to come at you this way. You're going to come back that way. Perry foil. The whole thing is a dance. And they are word nerds, and they're very honorable people, and they will respect you if you know the dance. If you don't know the dance, they are going to eat you for lunch. But like I said, it's a lot of fun. Like, look what happened with Brian Bonner. Everybody knows Brian Bonner. I heard him talking on my show many times. The judge loved it. He says, holy cow. This is, when was the last time we, he said the bailiff? When was the last time we had a man in this court? Was it 1991, 1989? Holy crap. We got another man before us. This is going to be fun. We ain't seen one of these in a long time. So like I said, they know what it means. They know when they're in the standing in the image of the creator. They're not stupid. So that they know they exist not to cause any harm or injury or loss to man. They know that. To a defendant, they don't give a effing damn about it. They don't give a tinker's damn about a defendant. It's not their job. If you want to wear that mask, if you want to play that role, God bless you. Take on and get an ass whooping as a defendant because you're the punch and Judy. You're the punch and you're the, you're the, you're the punchy. You know, if you want to take on that role, God bless you. 